So I just wanted to make this really quick video, well, hopefully it's going to be quick, just to update you on kind of what's been going on the last couple days. Um, sorry there was no vlog today. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the hospital. So, I, I'm sorry about this light, I can't turn it off, I can't figure out how to turn it off. Maybe if I can sit up, bear with me. It's an awesome hospital down. If I sit up, then it won't be as bad. Let's see. I'm making a makeshift tripod. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, so... I'm here at the hospital. I came in for what I thought. Oh my god, that light is really bugging me. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it's stupid. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can get rid of it. And I didn't even pause it. <laughs> okay, so I can't get rid of it, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'll try to make it so that we can't see it. <laughs> we could get rid of it if I stood up and turned it off, but um, I really don't feel like standing up right now. Okay, so this is what's going on. I came in yesterday, which today is Wednesday, I think, Thursday? I don't actually know what today is. Um... It may be Thursday. I came in with a bladder infection and um, I just wanted to get that checked out. And because I have um, resilience to antibiotics, then I have to get it through the IV. So I have to come into the emergency room to do that. So when I got here, they did... Um, ultrasound downstairs and the ultrasound came back that I had some kidney stone debris meaning that they weren't actual stones they were like fragments of stones which could either turn into a stone or it was a stone and then um sorry I haven't brushed my teeth I feel gross and then um we did blood work which came back that my white blood count was really really low low or high the one that's not good and the red blood was low or high whichever one so um they figured that the kidney were infected again so the big long letter big long word with the p so I was given some Dilaudid, I was given some Tordal, I was given some Morphine. I was pretty out of it at this point, and um, I was in a lot of pain from the ultrasound and everything. And then when I went back, um, I saw a doctor, and then she said, okay, well, we're going to set you up with this powder stuff, and I'm going to send you home. And I really wasn't happy about that situation. Um, I was actually really upset because the last thing I want to do is come back and go through this all over again. And here's a little backstory. Last November, so almost a year ago today, um, I was here, same hospital, same symptoms, everything. And that's when they found out that I had the ESBL Superbug. I'll link that in the description later. I can't do it right now because I'm... Um, my phone um, and I'm probably just gonna send this off and not edit it so that you kind of get an update what's going on and um, it was the same doctor everything everything is the exact same and I was in this room for 10 days so yeah it's a little scary um, when I saw the doctor last night, like I said, she was going to send me home, and then I kind of insisted that I see someone else, and I saw the other doctor, another doctor, a man who came in and did some, like, poking around on my back and 
everything and of course right away I started to cry because that's really painful and then um, he said he was gonna get me in for a CAT scan so I got this IV hooked up and unfortunately they had to go through my wrist as you can see um, because my veins suck so bad so I went in for the CAT scan with the dye which if you've ever had that it's so freaky it looks so freaky it feels like you're peeing yourself and you're like really hot um, so I had that done and then when the results came back he came in with some medicine and then hooked me up to some fluids and said that yes he does see those fragments of stones and as well as he does agree that I have a kidney infection so he admitted me and put me on antibiotics through the IV and unfortunately I had to spend the night in the emergency room department in a room by myself um, which was kind of interesting there was a guy who was drunk and yelling and he was all over the place saying he got bit by a snake and obviously he did get bit by a snake <laughs> and he was like, oh, I was watching this snake hatch, and I'm thinking, oh my god, he's playing Pokemon, and he's drunk, and now he thinks he gets bit by a snake. But anyways, I was in a lot of pain last night. I didn't sleep at all. They kept coming in and giving me medicine that I would throw up. They gave me gravel. They gave me tortol. They gave me um, morphine. They've given me pretty much everything, um, as well as kept giving me the IV, and then... Um, I finally got something to eat like 11.30 or 12 or maybe 1 a.m. which I hadn't eaten all day. Um, I was able to keep it down and then I slept quote unquote. So then I didn't actually sleep. I pretty much stayed up all night. Um, and then fast forward to later on today where there was finally a room available for me and I came up here to this room that I'm in which is a private room, my own bathroom because I was using a commode in that other room downstairs in the emergency department it was so embarrassing and not to mention like really uncomfortable and yeah so then I saw um, some students who were really awesome who um were learning because this is a teaching hospital and they did a bunch of tests and they did ask me a bunch of questions and then turns out the doctor that they consulted with was the doctor I had last year at this time who was amazing and she remembered when she came in she remembered me and ironically my husband and Ryder came in um, at the same time to come see what was going on and um, she remembered Ryder and she's like wow he's so big now and yeah <laughs> and then um, they did say I'd have the ESBL superbug again so on top of the infections I have the superbug which is not fun I haven't pooped um, I'm barely peeing which they're kind of concerned about because it does feel really full but I'm not fully emptying my bladder. Um, I've been given quite a bit to go poop, <laughs> TMI, and still nothing's happening. Um, I have a little bit of blood in my urine as well, which they're, they're going to watch out for. But the doctor did say that she is going to consult the um, infectious bacteria clinic or whatever it's called and get me on the highest, strongest possible IV antibiotic and wipe this bug out and also um, she's consulting with the urologist department and we're going to get these kidney stones taken care of whether it be today, tomorrow, the next day or if I go home as an outpatient and they call me um, something's going to happen I think that it doesn't have to be today. I would much rather it be today because I don't want to leave here with them in my body. Um, but 
as long as I have a plan, I'm okay with it. No one's ever had a plan in the 10 years I've been dealing with these kidney stones, ever. So, I will gladly remove them any way, any shape, any time. I, I, I want them out of my body. So, that's what's been going on. I don't know if I'm going home tomorrow or not. There's not going to be a vlog, even if I do go home. Um, probably not even the next day. Probably not now until Monday or Tuesday. I have to edit still my Thanksgiving um, stuff and how to cook a turkey and blah, 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 blah. But um, I'm going to take it easy. When I do go home, I feel like I'm dying. I know I'm not dying, but that's how I feel right now. And it's scary. And I'm alone. And I'm isolated in this room with nobody to talk to. I have my phone. I have a book. I have a magazine. I'm going to watch Netflix on my phone, but I'm actually probably going to go to bed very soon. Um, yeah, and thank God for talking on Facebook Messenger because everybody in the Hatters has been so supportive to me and thinking about me. And yeah, whereas some people who I've texted to let them know what's going on is like, well, I don't have any hope that this is going to get taken care of. And I'm like, don't think like that. So. Yeah, it's going to get taken care of one way or the other. If I have to do it myself, yeah. I also had, I also had blood culture, cultures drawn last night. Um, in my other wrist, they had to take it. They had to take it from my foot, um, which was horrible. I have a huge mark now on my foot. Um, and... I have like all these marks here. I look like I'm a junkie. It was pretty brutal night, not gonna lie. So right now she just gave me some morphine. Not in the IV though, she gave it to me in a pill for some reason. Whatever. I just ate some broccoli, some butter chicken, and a little bit of rice. Even though I'm not allowed to have rice. Because of the diverticulitis. So, yeah. I think the worst part about this whole hospital thing is, is that it just brings, I have so much time to think, I just think about everything that happened with Leia and, you know, that our whole stillbirth experience and um, even though it wasn't this hospital, I still, you know, you still think about stuff like that, so. And then I worry about, you know, obviously this autoimmune disease is just ridiculous and they want to know why I'm not being on anything for the Crohn's and I don't know why. Mostly because I was on prednisone and it was making me more fat than I already am so they took me off of it and we just haven't found anything that other than the Celebrex and the um I take Celebrex I take the medical marijuana and the um Cymbalta, and that's basically all I take. Well, other than like the other pills I take, like the Rodididine and the stuff for anxiety and whatnot. But, anyways, okay, this is like 13 minutes long. By the time I'm done talking, it's gonna be like 15 minutes long. You guys don't want to watch a 15 minute video of me talking to you, and I look like crap. Look at how crappy I look. But I just wanted to update you. So, that's what's going on. Please think good thoughts for me to be out of here for my lovey child who did come visit me and left me his train. He said, Mama, this will make you feel better. So, I think it'll make me feel better. So, I'll update you when you can. Um, I'll update you when I can. Keep checking out on Twitter. That's the easiest way to find out what's going on at This Is Rider or at Airway Alright. Bye.